Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Alright, so I know it's been a minute since I really put up anything decent, you know. My last video was just um, a lookbook and, you know, going through different hairs and stuff. And I actually think one of the units I'm going to go ahead and do a video on probably in like another week or two. Um, but this video today is going to be a hair update review because this hair I did a video on a couple weeks ago. It was the 360 lace unit that I got from Superb Wigs and I was super excited. And then, I don't know, the whole, the whole experience thing kind of got me a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know how my experience was from ordering to shipping to receiving it and now a whole three or four weeks later. So, when I ordered this hair, um, it was $150. Um, I did get like, you know, a little bit percentage off from having a code and all of that. I got, um, let's see, I think 18, maybe 20 inches, 150 density, um, natural color, nothing special. Um, I wouldn't make sure that I had the hair for my birthday, I was super excited. She contacted me when I emailed after my order. I was like, you know, hey guys, um, am I going to get this order on time? Um, I really want it for my birthday. I know it's coming from China, blah, blah, blah. She called. It was like 8 o'clock at night. She called and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, that it's late. Just wanted to make sure that, you know, um, I answered your questions and let you know that you're going to get everything on time. And I did. I was super stoked with that. I thought that that was great customer service. And I was thinking, hey, everything's off to a great start. Okay, so I get my package, everything's great, I do my video, I start wearing the hair for a couple of days. Let's fast forward to about a week. Um, I was like, oh my god, you know, I love this hair. I love, I love the texture of this hair, like I do. That is, through the whole video, I, I, I love the texture of this hair, I love the quality of this hair, the quality. It's great, I was washing it, conditioning it, combing it out you know, enjoying, enjoying the curls, you know, enjoying, enjoying this. I, I, I loved it. Um, okay, so fast forward to week two, when shit starts to get a little crazy. Um, I decided to flat iron the unit. Now, mind you, I've been wearing weave for, hmm, let me just say since I was about seven years old. And I would like to say that I know how to take care of a unit, whether it's human hair, synthetic hair, anything like that. So, of course, when you first straighten your unit, you use a lower temperature. I started out with the temperature that I use on my synthetic units. Didn't burn it, didn't melt it, nothing like that. Um, I did notice a little bit of hair shedding. I was like, okay, that's normal. I straightened it to about a yakky, coarse kind of texture. It was not bone straight. I didn't go over it more than twice. I was like, hey, you know, I just wanted to see kind of how it looked. I paid $150, you know, I want to see how it looks straight, you know. Um, so with that being said, after I straightened it, this unit started showing us two colors. Now. The hair, as you can see, went back just fine. It, it is still beautiful. I'll actually wet it a little later on in the video and show you guys how it looks. Um, but basically, the hair started shedding, like, insane amounts. I mean, if I were to just pull this around and, you know, if I was just messing with my hair and I'm just, you know, kind of pulling it, looking at it a little bit, you know, and then, like, I have all this. I don't know if you guys can see all of that. Like, it might not seem like a lot, but this is a good, I mean, I'm not really getting like, a picture of it, but that's like a good 10 strands. And that's just from me pulling the hair around and like pulling at the ends. And that happens, this happens, like, this happens every, every time I touch this hair now. Um, 
I when I wash it, when I am conditioning it, when I'm brushing it out, when I'm doing anything, this hair sheds. Now, the frustrating part about that is, you know, I'm a mom, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and I do not even feel comfortable touching my hair when I am in the kitchen because, and, and, and look, see, we're, we're going to talk about this too, that lifting right there, uh, that, that's not me. Anyway, okay, so, um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable touching my hair even when I'm in the kitchen because of how much this unit sheds. And I think if you're not able to straight iron or flat iron your hair, it shouldn't be $150, first of all. And second of all, it should be noted, you know, like I used a synthetic unit, uh, you know, as a guide on how not to burn this hair because I have been flat ironing synthetic units for a long time long time so that is you know the first big thing that I noticed because in the third week after straightening it in the second week it just it, it has been shedding like crazy and now on to the rest of it um, the cap of this wig now when I first got it, I didn't have any issues you know like I said there's an elastic band in it there was an elastic band in the box you know all good but in week three, I had to not only sew the comb onto the back of my wig, which I don't have to do. I've never had to do that. I'm not rough on wigs. I'm not tugging on them. I have enough to wear, like, you know, I'm wearing them here and there, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, this, no, this, these are all things that I'm noting that haven't happened with previous units. So I had to sew the comb in, back on because it was coming off. Um, I had to sew the elastic band to make it shorter, make it tighter, because it was not tight enough. I, this, this unit feels too big and too small at the same time. Like, I can't get it tight enough, and I had to tighten it back here, but it's too loose up here. Like, that is just from it being loose. Like, I, I, I can't get this unit to stay down. I'd say about week three, that was the problem week three. Week two is when I was straightening the unit. Week three is how I realized it is too loose and too big at the same time. All of this, like, I have glued this unit down two or three times just today. I'm not sweating. I'm not doing anything. Again, this is not something that I noticed with any of the other 20, 30 units that I've had in the past couple years. So that, to me, kind of, you know, indicated, like, a problem like I haven't ever had this issue and now I'm having this issue where I can't get the lace to stay down like this little bit right here the combs are way back here they are way way back here so all of this I have nothing to kind of you know keep it tucked in and on there just just the glue so by me trying to tighten it back here it's like pulling it up here and then all it like I look I use the got to be glued, I use my little band, you know, I tie it up, do what I gotta do. Like, this unit is so difficult to stay down, and I don't understand why. Like I said, I have not had that problem before, but I don't like it. Um, okay, so, let's see, this is week four. I haven't noticed any new problems with this unit. I better not, <laughs> like, because I love this hair texture. I love it. I, I love, you know, everything about the hair texture. The cap, though, the cap construction, I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah, it might just be, you know, this specific company. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, so those are pretty much all of the problems. Like I said, the shipping, the ordering, great. Um, arriving here on time, great. Hair quality, great. Cap texture, or not, not, not cap texture. What? Cap construction. Eh. Okay, so yeah, you guys, um, that about wraps it up for this hair review video. Like I said, um, you know, this is from Superb Wigs. I'll have it linked down below again. Maybe this is just me and my experience, you know, um, I wasn't sent this wig or anything like that, so I'm just giving you guys an honest, honest review on this unit because, you know, this is coin. This is $150, like, you know, 
I just want to let y'all know. Um, but yeah, look out for my next video. It's going to be a hair care video on, you know, how I take care of this hair. I did say I was going to wet it and show you guys, but I'll do that in the next video. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and thank you guys for sticking around and getting through the whole video. Um, a little longer than normal, a little bit of a rant, but um, leave comments down below about any questions you have, and I will see you guys next week, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.